It's Shark again, coming at you with another episode from TrueJewelRelationships.com. In this video, I, I'm going to uh, critique and analyze the Childish Gambino video, This Is America. And I'm going to do this frame by frame. Uh, it makes like six, six, seven scenes. And I'm going to do it with no audio playing because I don't want to get flagged. So I'm going to tell you what I think scene by scene in this video and plus let's just keep in mind i only seen the video this is going to be my third time seeing the video it's about what four minutes long and there's so many messages in this video within four minutes and four seconds within yeah four minutes and four seconds so let's keep that in mind i only seen the video twice it's my third time and there's a good chance I'm going to miss something the third time watching this video. Because every the first time I watched the video, there's some things that I missed the second time I watched the video. And there's probably going to be some things that I'm going to miss this time. So I think it's, it's kind of like reading a book. You know, the more times you read the book, you see things or you read things that you didn't actually, you know, got the first time. You know? So don't go, so don't look at this video and be like, ah, man, you missed this, man. You know, what about this part? You know, hey, nine times out of ten, I'm going to catch it after I'm done with the video. So don't, so don't be like, ah, you missed that part. So, okay, let's, let's get started. So first scene of the video is, it looks like a warehouse, you know, the guitar, is sitting on the chair. This guy walks up, grabs the guitar, sits down. Now here's some here's the thing. The guy that grabs the guitar and sits down, he don't have any shoes on. So that I think that's a sign of he's a native guy. He's a native guy connected to the land, which is America, if you want to call it that. So that's what I think about that. And Gambino is in the cut. You can't see him until the camera comes around. And he starts dancing, being very uh, uh, moist, moving his body like it's kind of feminized. Type, feminized type of way or whatever. Now, when he started dancing, I was like, wait a minute, where is this going? <laughs> you know? <laughs> but what he's really doing, it could be taken two different ways. Now, some people will say he's making fun of a lot of these rappers that be dancing in their videos. You could say that. Or, there's a clown character that came out in uh, probably over a hundred years ago by now. I don't know the exact date, but there's a there's a character that they call the clown that um used to dance around and they used to wear blackface. White guys used to wear blackface and they used to entertain white people in front of white audiences. So basically the whole concept of the clown and blackface, they're making fun of black people. That's what the whole clown, you know, was it all about. The whole clown character is all about. You make it's an inside joke. You're making fun of black people. So that's what he's dancing like. You know, that's the the character I think he's dancing like, because that the way he's dancing is the same way the clowns used to dance back in the day. And also, he could be making fun of a lot of these rappers too. I don't know, you know, for sure. But I'm gonna go to the next scene. So once he start dancing, he's coming around and he's gonna grab the gun and he's gonna shoot, he's gonna grab the gun out of his pants and he's gonna shoot the guy in the back of his head. He's gonna shoot the guy in the back of his head. The guy falls down and some other guy runs up to him 
and puts the gun in a red cloth. So I guess, you know, he wiped the gun off. And that's the end of that scene, right? So, you could say, you know, they this is how they promote gun violence. And, you know, the gun is the great equalizer. So you could say, well, you know, the gun is much more important than human life. You can say that too. So now he's dancing. They take the body away. They drag the body away. But they take the gun away. So it's, so it's kind of like they care about the gun more than they care about the human body. So now he's dancing. Look at all, you know, feminized. Then the kids show up. School kids. So now, so now when the kids show up in school clothes, that's kind of a play on saying kids don't really learn shit when they go to school. They just want to be entertained. So he keeps going. So the kids are still dancing. He's still dancing. Bunch of people running around. Uh, the kids are flipping, dancing. Kids just like to be entertained. They're not really learning shit when they go to school. Now, the now in the church scene. I hate the church scene. Now the church choir. You know they're shouting, singing, or whatever. Then. Gambino comes out the door. He comes out the door dancing. He somebody throws him a gun. Somebody throws him a gun. He takes a gun, turns around and shoot the choir. Now some people say, hey, that's from the Charleston church shooting, right? Now you could say that, but you could also say, and then check this out. As soon as he shoots the people in the choir. On the church choir, some guy comes up to him with a red cloth and grabs the gun, wipes the gun off, and he goes on the next scene. Now, some people will say that's from the Charleston church shooting. Could be. I don't know. I'm not sure. But then you could say that's another way of them promoting gun violence because they, you know, they try to uh, they use the gun violence as a way to promote. Um, more gun laws, you know, in this country or whatever. It's kind of like a play on that. So it could go either way. So the next scene, you know, the cop car, he walked past the cop car. It's chaos all over the place. People walking around with, it looked like people were running past him with like some type of maybe weapons, hammers, or something like that. Something in their hand, you know. You, you can't really see what's in the people's hand because people were walking and running past him. So now he's still dancing. You got a bunch of uh the kids are back, high school kids are back. They're dancing. You know, then you got people around him and the kids while they're dancing people. It's total chaos all around them. You know? So the kids and him are dancing and it's chaos and violence all around them. So now you know, there's cops, violence. So, so, so check, this is a very important scene. So on top, the kids have cameras. They pull out their cell phones, right? So I think on that scene, what he's trying to say, when kids see shit happening out in the street or they see somebody being mistreated, Kids don't like being involved, getting involved. What they do is pull out their cell phone and just record the shit. Don't do anything about it. They just want to put people on blast. That, that's basically what he's trying to say about that scene. That's what I think. So now the kids are still dancing. Cars on fire. Cops. Cars still behind them. Now you have a white horse. You have a guy riding a white horse. And it's chaos everywhere, cars on fire, smoke and everything, right? So I think the white horse is 
could be a sign of a white colonizer or or some type of southern heritage it's evil or you know so he's still dancing people running around people you know so he points like he like he got a gun in his hand but he don't got no gun in his hand so now he pulls out what looks like a joint looks like a joint yeah so he lights the joint up lights the joint up now he's now the guy now check this up now check this out the same guy that he shot in the first scene he's back sitting down in the chair with a bag over his head on the guitar you know and then Charles Gambino gets on top of the car with the joint in his hand so he starts dancing on some so it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven probably ten cars with a woman so I think he's trying to say these I think he's trying to make fun of these rappers and entertainers basically saying after they done entertained made all this money got all these goddamn cars and got all these women and it's still chaos <laughs> so after so after the rappers and entertainers done, done entertain everybody there's still chaos everywhere so he's dancing on top of the car and I think it's one more scene left after this yeah so in this scene which is the last scene where he's running looks like he's running down running outside running through the warehouse but look like he's running outside yeah it looks like he's running you know for his life basically now some people have, have told me that this could be a sign that he's running from a certain group of people you know but I don't think it's, it's a certain group of people that he's running from I think he's running from America because I think this scene is is basically saying that once you if you're an entertainer or, or, or a person that in the public eye has made all this money, you had all this success, you done entertain people, and it's all kinds of chaos going on around you, and you're getting high, you're dancing, there's people getting shot, people getting killed everywhere, and you made all this money, and you got all you got the women in the cars, and you ain't no better than nobody else. You just got some money. You can travel. You can. You can't really do what you want. So at the end of the scene, once you learn what what's really going on in this country, once you open your eyes and see the big picture of how people really see you living in this country. So at the end of the video, that's basically what he's saying is, once you wake up and really see what it is out here it makes you want to leave America and go somewhere else so that's what I think about the video again I'm more than likely I miss out on some shit because I don't, this is my third time seeing the video so you might have watched it five ten times and seen much more than I have but this is just my analysis of the video so if you like what you heard give me a thumbs up subscribe to my video if you haven't um check out my website choose your until next time i'm out peace